Esava, this is Laser Morning, and welcome to today's video. Today is the first video of our Outriders State of the Game. This is going to be happening every Thursday, thanks to the Outrider community and the community managers saying that every Thursday they're going to be giving us information on what we can expect of the game, balances that they're going to be introducing, and a lot of stuff. So today we have a lot to talk about. So if all of this sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated. And let's talk about the first state of the game video. What we're going to be talking about today is a couple of things. We're going to be talking about survivability, legendary drop rates. There's going to be extra notes on player appreciation packs and also known issues and bugs investigations. So like I said, there is a ton to talk about. But one of the biggest things that I want to talk about is the addition of this new state of the game called Dev News Thursdays, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. And I will be bringing you guys updates every single Thursday of the stuff that's dropping. So if you guys want to make sure you stay up to date to everything on Riders. Make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel and don't forget to sub and hit us with that like. So, so here is a quick outline of things that are going to be focused on every single Thursday. The first thing they want to talk about is damage reduction and survivability mechanics. They say Outriders has a number of mechanics, including shields, armor, resistance, spike damage, protection, hellgate, and more that all work together to calculate how squishy or tanky your particular character is. However, as mentioned above and observed in a few discussions recently, these mechanics are not 100% clear, and in some cases, spike damage, protection, death protection, and invincibility are secret mechanics within hidden cooldowns. So you gotta keep that in mind. Understanding these mechanics is the key aspect of understanding the damage mitigation, or the one-shot kill instances that are related to this issue. So in future State of the Game videos, we're going to be covering that in particular and explaining exactly how all that works and what we need to change in our builds to make it better. They're also going to be talking about legendary drop rates. This is what they said. We're aware that some players are unhappy with legendary drop rates as they currently are. This is a topic that across various game modes and difficult levels include many layers and further questions. To that end, we're planning to share more information about legendary drop rates mechanics in future to help you understand the system a bit better and to help you make your farming more targeted and less frustrating. Note that this is just an initial step regarding this matter, but it is required for us to make informed choices. So just like I've been saying for such a long time, guys, that this was a thing, they are going to come out and say that it is a thing. And they're going to give us a little bit more explanation. Next topic is they're talking about balancing. A lot of you guys have been asking for balancing if they're going to be getting buffs or we're going to be getting nerfs. And what they said of this, this is what he said. I actually wrote a good 3000 plus word draft for a thread about balancing in the week following our bullet build rebalancing to respond to the concerns raised by the community at that time. This thread explained how we wanted to go about balancing. Why the bullet build changes were necessary and it included an FAQ to answer just about every balancing design question you had or had. Why were there only nerfs? Why is balancing even required? Which players do we look at when we consider balancing? Many more questions. It also talked about the difficulty and learning curve that we had in mind when designing Outriders and Expeditions in particular. However, subsequent issues around inventory restoration and damage mitigation made such a threat quite out of touch to post at that time. I'm hoping to be able to revisit this draft and share more current version of it in the future to help better explain our initial vision around balancing. Regarding further balancing, we first want to see how things shake up regarding our latest patch, since damage mitigation issues or malfunctioning mods could push the meta in a certain direction. Not because something is unbalanced, but because players might not have been finding certain aspects of play reliable enough to use consistently. And yes, we'd want to focus primarily on buffs, not on nerfs. Now, as far as the extra notes, they're gonna they're talking about the new patch, player appreciation package, and personal notes. Our next patch is currently undergoing testing with the intent to release it later half of next week. We'll confirm this next week when testing wraps up. We will share specific patch notes within the release. Of course, I will have you guys completely covered with whatever that patch is. They also say we know that our previous patch took uncomfortably long to release, but we do hope to be able to be patching the game much more frequently now, which is, uh, this sounds really, really good, guys. I'm really excited for that because that means they're going to be supporting the game very much frequently. Now we have player appreciation pack, which is a lot of you guys have been asking me in the stream. It is currently undergoing testing, and I will share more news around this as soon as we have a confirmed date to go live. The tech for this package is based on restoration script we used, but needed additional coding as we are, for example, attempting to ensure that players would only receive a legendary weapon that they previously did not obtain. So it's actually pretty cool. We might get a weapon we've never had. So for all of you guys who probably need that dead shield, that, it might come, boys. It might come. And if it's a 99.4, I'm going to be super jealous. 
because I don't have. Now, there are still a little bit of known issues that are still being investigated. For example, trolls kicking other players at the end of expeditions. An upcoming patch will be implemented and a feature that prevents players from engaging in this atrocious behavior is going to be helping out. Signing issues, our latest patch implemented additional telemetry, which will give us a better insight into the specific issues that certain players might be facing. This telemetry will help us understand at what specific point or process the sign-ins of this player is failing. Multiplayer connectivity issues related to rubber banding and lag. This is something I really want. Well, please, please fix. Please fix. An upcoming patch will be implementing better region-based matchmaking in order to improve the quality of connections, player experience, and multiplayer. This may lead to an initial longer wait for matchmaking to connect, but the sessions should then be better or better quality. Players from different regions may still be matched, will be matched after a certain period of time has passed. We're continuing to work on improving the multiplayer experience beyond these changes as well. So please treat this as just one of an ongoing series of steps to improve the experience. Please improve the experience. Last but not least, we have crashes and memory leaks. Upcoming patches will continue to address occurrences of these and improve overall stability of the game. So that is exactly what's going on. Those are the known issues, and that is what's being investigated and being worked on. And these are the bugs that are currently in the game that have been either fixed or will be getting fixed. So for example, they have specific bug, all items being marked as new when entering a new game session. This is an issue that has been identified and will be resolved in future patch. Tricture movement impeded when using cyclone skill and being stunned. Issue identified and will be resolved during the future patch. Hell Rangers items not appearing for players on the Epic Store. Identified and patched in future update. Certain mods not working in particular when you're in the client during multiplayer session. It is currently being investigated as it may be related to specific latency thresholds. This may be part of the above mentioned bigger multiplayer connectivity issue and is being investigated. Scrap grenade mod stops working after cutscenes. Issue is currently being investigated. Weapon mods Ravenous Locust does not deal damage if used together with weightlessness mod. Issue currently being investigated. Players dying while a shield is active. Issue is currently being investigated. Rather than the shield not properly uh, mitigating damage, this issue may be caused by either the UI not catching up properly or it may be caused by certain shield mods continuing to proc their shields after death has occurred on their certain edge case. So they're still going to be explaining this and trying to investigate it that it's fixed. Trickster's Hunt the Prey does not turn players towards the enemy back if aiming down sight immediately after activating. Issue is being investigated. Devastator's Gravity Leap can cause a client's player to get stuck. Being investigated. Please fix this. I really need this fix. Uh, Devastator's status set bonus ends after a 8 seconds, which is not stated in the description. Issue is currently being investigated. Technomancer's Borealis set bonus is not applying properly, being investigated. Prior Master's Feet the Flame skill may not properly proc Ash uh, effect in multiplayer, investigated. Revive function not working as intended during multiplayer sessions with high latency, being investigated. General entries pickups not appearing on a secondary character, being investigated. And damage block states on expeditions result screen occasionally appear inconsistently, abnormally low. Issue is currently being investigated and there you guys have it that's going to wrap our state of the game for outriders for this thursday expect another update this coming thursday where we will be talking more in depth about everything we mentioned here i do hope you guys do like these new updates that we're going to be getting every thursday remember almost every tuesday we should be getting a brand new patch or update to the game i'm excited and i hope you guys are don't forget to keep it locked here for more outriders coverage thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys later